Dear Nigeria, you are bold, beautiful, smart, colorful, strong, warm, hopeful, welcoming, courageous, hospitable, safe, succeeding, developing, progressing, and full of life. Yet, dying, corrupt, injured, beaten, deteriorating, failing, unjust, cold, dramatic, flawed, hopeless, hungry, and angered. You struggled to give your children a fruitful life, fought for their freedom in the hands of the masters, adorned yourself with courage and confidence as they sang to uphold your honor. They pledged faithfulness, loyalty, and honesty to defend your unity, upholding your honor and glory. Calling on to their younger siblings to rise patriotically, obeying your call, serving their father's land with love, strength, and faith with all their heart and might, praying to the Almighty to help them. You smiled victoriously and proudly as your children pledged and sang songs of praises to you, held your flag up high in the face of the world. Only if he knew. They'll use their hands to rip you apart, tear down every united part of you as they side along their tribes, hiding under the shade of corruption as they put a dagger on your chest, throwing their vows out the window as they elect corrupt leaders. I weep, seeing you bleed, unsecured and at war with yourself. You exist, however, don't live. Oh, Nigeria, you were one hell of a country, the giant of the African nation. A smile finds its way to my face whenever I remember. However gloomy the sky might be, there's always a silver lining. No matter how bad the situation gets, I wouldn't give up on you. For you are my home and all I have. I belong there alongside the flaws and the good. You're not all creamy and peachy and definitely doesn't taste like strawberry smoothie. You, <laughs> you are an exotic mouth-watering tuo mirto shade tantawashi. Yet still, you're all I have. I pray that Allah brings you back to life and bless you with children that will restore your honor. Yours truly, a hopeful child.